Baron gets soused. He gets angry. He's always drinking. An old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Our cows will croak, our kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fight evil. That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines. I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide you. You look awful. Slower. Buy in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Greetings. Salutations! Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As have I, as do I. Not the best place for a traveling peddler. Profits lie amidst risk. True, the wars brought strife and hardship, but folk live on, and where there is life, there is trade. Prepared to risk your life for a bit of coin? Coin, my friend, is of little import. Hard as I try, I simply cannot remain still, so I wander and wander the world. I see new places, speak with folk I've never known. It's what I like, and that's worth the risk. Take a peek if you don't mind. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Yeah? Craft special order weapons too? Do politicians murder high class prostitutes? Of course. I'll take a look, maybe pick something. For a few rounds of Gwent.
over the village, we lined up both of them. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm, well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullen leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more Appella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
This way, I think. bringing this bell for you to follow. Where the hell did you go? Bear! Bear! Run, you You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. <laughs> Will this do? She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? 
Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When do you last see your wife? Oh. Five days passed. Before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. I come back. I have no sign of her. Notice anything strange? Maybe her behavior? No. She were a happy, smiling self. Nothing different of late. She's not run off, if that's what you're asking. Maybe she went to the neighboring village, forgot to tell you. No. My sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her go. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some men folk to scour the woods. Nothing. 
I'll look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around, too. She have any friends? Hannah kept... keeps to herself, mostly. Watches the blacksmith's young'uns at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. Hi! Audience! Greetings, you Glenna. Aye. But gristle and marrow is all I'm willing to sell, and you'll have to wait till I'm done carving it. You the butcher's wife? Butcher? Please. Might have called him a butcher when we lived in the shade of Novigrad's walls. Now he deals in carrion, fallen animals, their bones still fit for soup. So, buying something? Wanted to talk to you about Hannah. Hear you were friendly. She come by at times? We talk? She seems strange lately. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. Strange. No? A cheerful soul always. If I'm to judge, it's the wolves got her. Been howling the nights through lately. Even the Baron's men are feared to come by. Hannah must have gone to the wood to gather mushrooms, maybe. Strayed too deep and the howlers got her. Thanks. Farewell. Wow. My dad used to make swords like yours. Can I touch it? It's sharp. Better not. Need to talk to your father. I forged swords once. Now it's sides and o's. For good arms, you'll need to go to Novigrad. Wanted to ask you about Hannah. Heard she looked after your children. Aunt Hannah? Do you know where she is? No. That's why I'm here. She maybe tell you where she was going, or anything else? Mm. She said turnips are healthy, and we ought to eat them. I saw her go to the forest, with another lady. It was dawn almost. I'd gone out so I wouldn't wet the pallet. The forest? She's done for. Why? A huge pack roams the area. None from the village dares go in the forest. Neelan's only one not afeared, but then he's a hunter. Wanted to... Aunt Hannah... No. Mm, I... The far... A huge... Did you get a good look at the other woman? Know who it was? No. She walked in front of Aunt Hannah. I couldn't see. Thanks. Farewell. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be in the forest alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't want to know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. 
And Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hanner's dead for certain. Neelan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. Strange. People usually prefer to know the fate of their loved ones, whatever the cost. What good will it do? I'll not get my sister back. And Neelan's all I got left. I can't lose him too. And, well, he'll not rest till he avenges his Hanner, even if it eats up his life. The man deserves better. Sorry, not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. Mm, no man did this. Hmm. Cuts. Made with long claws. Flesh torn clear off. This is getting interesting. Claw marks deep. Must be a rotting corpse. Torn to pieces all around. around. Werewolf. No doubt about it. Gotta be careful. Blood and palm marks. Wonder where they lead. Shit. Climbed the tree. I can't get up there. Maybe find something else on the ground. Tuft of fur. Ugh. Whatever lost it hasn't bathed in a while. clothes. Shred it, but no sign of blood. Who rips their own clothes off, leaves them in the woods? Looks like a hunter's quarters.
talk. It's Nalan! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here that night it was the reason i had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn i did it for us she was to see you turn not more i didn't want her death you've got to believe me i don't and i'll kill you willingly first time for that in fact This is between the two of you. I refuse to meddle, but cross my path again, and I will kill you. No! Mercy! You had no mercy for your sister. I'll have none for you. <laughs> you I'd kill you. I know as well what you said. Do it. If you want death, find some reins and a tree with a strong limb. Wouldn't work. Couldn't do it. Always been a coward. Do it. Please. <laughs> 